My Gadget Life. We're talking about 3D players for the PC and this one's especially for the NVIDIA crowd because I only have the GeForce 460 video card. There's two types that I can see. It's the Cyberlink Power DVD version 10 and the actual onboard NVIDIA 3D player and I'll explain certain things about them. Okay, we have the two players, the Cyberlink Power DVD and the 3D Vision player. Now, uh, to explain, when you first play the um, 3D Vision video player, if I drag and drop something on here, it comes up with this little error and click on OK with that and eventually it gets to there which you can full screen it but if you can see the little green light on the uh, emitter shines as well to allow the glasses to work which is all well and good uh, the Cyberlink doesn't have that problem. Let's turn that off. If I just uh, play that with the 3D in, it just goes straight to it, um, which is quite cool. Uh, you can also turn the 3D off. If you can see that little symbol here. Turn it off, play it now, see the left and right screens to give you both perspectives. Um, but uh, I, I do want to point out a little glitch with this. Uh, I have a monitor which isn't uh, compatible with Blu ray, and to explain this. Here is the NVIDIA website, it shows you all the compatible screens and monitors and what have you. And if you go down the list, uh, I have the actual Samsung SyncMaster 2233RZ, which is 1680 by 1050. And this column here is the Blu-ray. Go down, uh, it says yes to all of these, but actually no to this monitor. So whenever I play um, Blu-rays on this monitor, it'll come up with a blank screen on the Cyberlink. The NVIDIA uh, doesn't do that because it actually um, can't play DVDs. So the workaround for this is just to find some sort of uh, ripper. And I actually found this DVD uh, rip website which will do that. So I can basically take apart the DVD and play um, ripped CDs onto this um, to show you here's some ripped CDs of, of mine um, I'll just pull that in there as you can see if you left and right perspectives but if I turn on 3D there you go that's in full 3D which is really inconvenient for me but uh, in hindsight I should have bought a compatible monitor for this but anyway uh, for those of you who can't 
or bought a 120 hertz monitor only to find out later on that it's not compatible um, the workaround for that is just to rip the CD and play it back the ripped file anyway this is uh, my gadget life explain the workaround and the players for uh, for the PC. And you're welcome to it.